desert mummies, bodies that have survived the sands of time. Marker number one marks Shauhi. This is one of the most famous areas where desert mummies are found. The most famous mummy at the site is known as the Beauty of Shauhi. Marker two marks Zagmluk Cemetery. This is where the infant mummy was found. The desert mummies could have been Europeans that migrated in around 2000 BC. The mummies spoke to Carian, which is similar to Latin. This is the Beauty of Shaui, one of the most famous mummies. The desert mummies are desiccated bodies, but are more commonly known as mummies. A mummy is a dead body that is preserved with some of its flesh or organs along with its skeleton. Some of the desert mummies were even preserved with their clothing. The desert mummies were always preserved by natural circumstances when they were buried. This was usually the aridity of the area and the salinity of the soil. In this image, you can see the desert sand of the Taklamakan Desert, which would help to preserve the mummy. Some mummies were buried at around 1700 BC to 300 CE, but the average mummy was buried 3000 to 5000 years ago. This is a bronze axe head from the Bronze Age, which is about the time that some of the mummies were buried. There are many sites where desert mummies can be found, most of them on the edges of the Taklamakan Desert, which is also known as the Desert of Irrevocable Death. This picture is of a cemetery known as the Small River Cemetery No. 5. Mummies were preserved when bacteria was unable to grow on the body. Because the bacteria was unable to grow, the bacteria could not decompose the flesh, organs, and or muscles. The bacteria was unable to grow because of the extreme aridity and high saline content of the soil in the Taklamakan Desert. The bodies were buried in the cemeteries because they died natural deaths for some reason or another. However, some mummies could have been sacrificial victims because of their cracked heads and slit throats. This picture is of the Tallinn man, who was a sacrificial victim or was a punished criminal. You can tell he is a sacrificial victim or criminal because of the noose around his neck.